uh, I'm good listener first. Like whatever you are saying, so I'm trying to learn from you. Like mm. uh, if I want, uh, I try to understand what you are saying, and uh, like I'm trying to note all the things. See, you are an intermediate. I want to give you a right road map here if you want to follow. You are an intermediate. So from your talk till now, I have got that you watched. You watch movies also mostly in Hindi. You watch uh, podcasts also uh, in Hindi. So how do, how are you learning English? Uh, welcome to the session. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, ma'am. Thank you. How about you? I'm also doing great. Thank you so much for asking. It seems like I have seen you somewhere. Did you talk to any YouTuber before? Uh, no, ma'am. It's my first conversation with uh, with you only. Okay, maybe you resemble with somebody. That's why I'm just because I uh, consume a lot of content over YouTube and I watch conversational videos a lot. So maybe yeah, actually I have a YouTube channel, ma'am. Uh, to making uh, like I'm making there some traveling vlogs. So it's very small channel. Like I have three sixty subscriber. Like I like to do. That's why I'm doing. So wow. maybe <laughs> I've seen something. And I like the thing that you mentioned. I like to do. That's why I'm doing. Great. So you are following your passion. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Okay, one thing I got to know, and okay, other than that, I would de- definitely love to know about yourself since we are meeting for the very first time. Yeah. So my name is Keshav Patel, and I am from Bethul, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, uh, like uh, about my qualification, so I have completed my ITI in Surveyor Trade. I have completed my diploma in Civil Engineering, and nowadays I am pursuing B Tech in Civil Engineering. As a final student, so nowadays my examinations are going, and uh, apart from this, uh, 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 I like to reading books mm-hmm. and planting plant, do gardening, and uh, yeah. And my like short term goal is I want to get a job as a data analyst in IT company, and uh, uh, my long term goal is like uh, I want to become a good speaker, public speaker. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. I hope you achieve your short term goal as well your long term goal too. And I think you will be able to because you seem very diligent, dedicated, and hardworking person. Okay. Uh, okay. as your hobby, you love reading books and you love planting. Yeah. Great hobbies. Okay. So may I know about the books? Uh, which is your favorite genre? Uh, books, ma'am. I'm reading books like that. Like uh. Uh, personality developments book. So whatever I have read, uh, I love the book which is Atomic Habits. Mm. Yeah. So you have read Atomic Habits. So how yeah. Atomic Habit helped you in your personal life, personal growth? Yeah, it's really very helpful for me, ma'am. Actually, I was the guy who is not organized. Like uh, I have no nothing fixed. Um, sometimes like uh, I want to do, but uh, I feel like yeah, let it be. We will do later and all. Mm. But uh, after read after read that book, like uh, I realized the uh, like power of habits. Like by the small habits, how can we do a big thing? Like by uh, like uh, um, we have seen now. Uh, like uh, if we are uh, earning small amount of money and putting some in, some money in good luck, and uh, after some time, after long time, we have some lot of money. So that kind of thing I have learned from there. Mm, yeah it is actually very helpful and very great book i have also read the book and i really like that one so you can even uh, you know again read it again and again it will help you and you will get something new from the book mm, and, yeah. uh, so may i know the habits that you have incorporated after reading the book oh uh, ma'am uh, i was aware with uh, pranayama and exercises like mm-hmm. uh, my father's do and they encourage us every day but uh, i was not so much uh, like uh, want to do but after read the book like i realized uh, this small uh, exercise this small things if i will apply in my daily life so it will give me a good result after some time so nowadays i am doing exercise daily Really? Okay, that is one you incorporated. Okay, and I have also- apart from reading also like uh, I develop my reading habits also. Reading habit, yeah. Reading is one thing which help, which will help you a lot in a lot of areas as you want to be a public speaker, good communicator, 
and then you want to get a good job so you will be able to work on, on your personality too it will change your personality actually after reading you get knowledge and once you have knowledge great command over the language once you are you have developed your personality you feel more confident so after that when wherever you go in any company whatever you join you feel actually confident and that you know adds value in your personal life personal growth great one okay apart from that any other book any other if you can if you uh, can mention any author which you like the most oh uh, not like that ma'am uh i like i don't read lots of book but nowadays i am trying to read so some of books like one or two books i have read so like uh, a, um, another book which is uh, for decision making is 4dx and uh, also mm-hmm. like uh, i am reading bhagavad gita nowadays wow bhagavad gita you are also i guess uh, okay that one who is reading bhagavad gita i want to but i i don't know why still i am not able to get that one and start reading that one but yeah i will definitely okay uh yeah so from where did you get this planting hobby since childhood you have been doing it or is there any family member who does that so you followed him or how did you get interest in planting gardening yeah actually ma'am uh, i am belongs from farmer background family so my father is farmer so we are like uh, our house is in between the farms and we are completely surrounded by the green leaves so mm. uh, from there like uh, no one is there in my family like that because we are farmers so we every time we are sowing crops and so uh, but uh, from last two years uh, this hobby is developed inside me like i uh, when i used to live some high tech city like uh, i was used to live in hyderabad so uh, there i feel like we are always or uh, missing some greenery and uh, some fresh air so from that place like i developed that hobby and whenever i visit to uh, my home every time i used to plant something okay so right now are you living outside uh, far from your uh, family okay. yeah yeah i am staying in hyderabad now this hyderabad okay okay great one then okay so when it comes to planting and all like if we come from a family or background who already have a lot of uh, you no know, the farming and the crops and also that remains in our blood always that we love we enjoy planting hmm i also come from that family similar background like yeah so okay so uh, tell me about uh, something interesting if you watch any movies uh, on weekends how do you spend your weekends uh generally i used to explore new place and if i am not able to go anywhere i watch hindi movies hindi like movie. uh, i used to watch everything nothing mm-hmm. i want to left <laughs> i love drama i love uh, whatever uh, like bollywood they are making some hollywood movies and not hollywood some tollywood movie like south indian movies and uh, bollywood movies so everything i want to watch <laughs> hmm so i think you know how to speak hindi to or do you understand hindi well right yeah ma'am like uh, i belong from madhya pradesh and other mother our mother tongue is hindi so okay madhya pradesh I'm... okay so uh, what kind of movies do you watch every type like if someone make anything so i want to watch like what they are making Oh wow so they are, if you are crazy about movies like this much so yeah. there must be some actor or actresses you follow yeah. or you very like much. I'm curious to watch uh, watch like what they are making if if they are making something so there is anything sense like i can learn a little bit from there but i want to watch now i got why the interest is this much because you are a vlogger So you want to observe every angle of camera and how they are acting, how they are, and at the same time you want to become a good communicator, a public speaker. So you, I think you observe the way they speak, observe the way they present themselves. Okay, yeah, now yeah. this is happening with me too. I wasn't the person who enjoy watching movies a lot. I used mm. to watch just to pass my times if I have free time. But nowadays when i watch i really like too much like the way they speak the way they carry themselves like it is not real but how they show in the movie right it really affects a lot it really inspires a lot and uh, 
again i want to become a good communicator so i observe each and everything and how they are acting how they are coming to the stage everything i also enjoy so do you watch podcasts too as you are trying to become a public speaker so maybe you watch some public speaking yeah, yeah. podcasters hmm. yeah i used to watch like a uh, hindi podcast i used to watch and some of english also uh, do you heard about ranveer elahabadi everyone knows i yeah, guess so- <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i used to watch yeah then mm-hmm. beer alavad so yeah, channel he makes in hindi but on beer biceps he makes in english podcast mm-hmm. so i just want to get more and more content from youtube uh nowadays i'm focusing more and more on english only okay so but from your talk till now i have got that you watched you watch movies also mostly in hindi you watch uh, podcasts also uh, in hindi so how do, how are you learning english like you ma'am like i have seen um, generally parallelly i am doing both thing like from hindi podcast and from hindi things for my entertainment and for my knowledge for my learning things uh, i used to watch english content like uh, i have seen you uh, on youtube mm-hmm. and like Uh, from when uh, the last one month from last past one month i am watching you continuously wow so, thank you so much uh, <laughs> yeah thank okay. you so um, parallelly i am doing both things like hindi for my entertainment because it's my native language so i can get more fun and mm-hmm. uh, english like i am learning english i'm not very good and uh, so mm, for learning purpose i am used to watch english I think you are already an eloquent speaker. You are just doubting that I am not very good here and there. You are making some grammatical mistakes, but you can improve drastically. And you are already an eloquent speaker. You are even confident while speaking. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell me, do you make blogs in English or in Hindi? Which language? Yeah, it's ma'am. I can say mix. Uh, not completely Hindi and not completely English. Hmm. Okay. So, both. So tell me one thing. Uh, I sometimes think that I should start vlog channel too. So tell me one thing. How to record vlogs with front cam camera or with the second one, like back camera? Uh, I don't. Know. It's depend on you, ma'am. Actually, if you want to give some information to your subscribers, to your viewers, so there is no need to uh, show your face. Like you yeah. can just uh, capture the things and. Uh, present whatever you have in your mind you, uh, you can share your knowledge with them mm-hmm. and some of you who really likes you who really wants to watch you if people like some of people they want to see you so mm-hmm. that time you can use your front camera you can uh, you both things sometimes you can uh, show your face and you can explain the things and after that you can show the real things what where you are mm-hmm. and uh, yeah this is the way how do you record with front camera yeah some of time some of time like uh, whenever i want to uh, show myself then mm-hmm. only otherwise if i want to go for any historical place and uh, that that place like things are more important uh, as compared to me so uh, i just record from back camera Okay, okay, got it. Okay, so yeah, uh, do you do the that uh, voice over too after recording your videos? Yes, yeah. you do voice yeah. over. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it means you are trying to become a storyteller too. <laughs> yeah, can uh, say. Okay, so how long have you been running the channel? Um, I'm you. I'm running this channel from last one and half year, near around two years. But uh, I am not like uh, in between. it's on and off process sometimes like uh, i am student too so mm-hmm. uh, for for study and uh, like i was working also in a construction company as a junior engineer so that time i used to make some information video for construction related mm-hmm. and uh, it's based on situation so nowadays i am on and off mm-hmm. okay okay so uh, are you planning to start uh, any new channel too in future Yes, ma'am. I want to. Hmm. So, what would be the niche? Sorry. What would be the niche? What would what kind of content you would like to share with audience? Oh, ma'am. I just want to share my uh, traveling vlogs only. 
traveling girls yeah how you all wants to explore yeah ex- everyone wants to explore new places but they want to know first what is the budget like how can we go there with this budget and uh, what is the way to go how they can go easily how they can stay proper with less mm-hmm. amount and all this thing so i just want to uh know all the thing first and uh, i want to share my knowledge with all of them okay great okay uh now i want to know as you mentioned that you want to become a public speaker good communicator you are working on your self too so uh where are you still lacking and what are the areas that you think you need improvement ma'am grammatical mistake i generally making grammatical mistake in like if i want to say some past thing so like that place i am lacking and some of places lots of like, not some of places lots of time i am making grammatically mistakes so uh, like lots of people said to me mm-hmm. your way of speaking is good yes. but you are making grammatically mistake so i just want to improve that area because oh, uh, that, hmm because yeah because, yeah the thing is that like uh mm-hmm. i did my studies from hindi medium and i belong from rural area and there is no environment so from that place to uh, come this way uh, it's really very uh, hard journey for me like i did lots of practice and hard work mm-hmm. so like this thing like i want to correct in, in the, i want to correct my grammatical mistake grammatical mistakes okay so what are the steps you take to encounter the issue uh mam steps are like uh, i'm good listener first like whatever you are saying so i'm trying to learn from you like mm. uh, if i want uh, i try to understand what you are saying and uh, like i'm trying to note all the things mm. like while conversation after conversation mm. and uh, i try to implement on next conversation mm. for making conversation i'm using nowadays joe stop Okay, so you are talking to people nowadays. You are practicing with call learners. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, so daily for near around thirty minutes to one hour, I used to talk. Thirty minutes to one hour, you talk every day. Every day. Every day. And how much? How uh, many hours do you listen? Oh, uh, it's ma'am. It's also near around one hour. One hour. Do And it's not like that. Near around. Uh, it's not countable actually. Whenever I am free. i just used to watch uh, english content on english content okay so we can say uh, more or less it would be 2 to 3 hours in a day yeah we can count 2 to 3 hours and 30 minutes to 1 hour you speak every day how many hours do you read every day same 1 hour 1 hour you read okay and do you learn words separately yes separately but like uh, i'm re- when i'm reading books now uh, there is a uh, lots of word who i'm not like i'm not familiar with that word so uh, i'm noting down them and uh, try mm. to find the meaning and mm. uh, if i'm comfortable with that kind of word i try to use my in my conversation okay we will talk about that to familiar words and not familiar words first See, you are an intermediate. I want to give you a right road map here. If you want to follow, you are an intermediate. If a, a intermediate people should focus equally on both the parts, on input and output. Like it should be fifty fifty. Okay, so they should be equal. There should be a balance. So if I talk about yourself, you are in your input is around uh, four hours, including reading and listening. Both four hours. Yeah. Your out uh, out. Put practice is just for thirty to one one hour. So balance. If that is four hour, this this is one hour. Then you can balance it like two and half. You can uh, allot or devote to reading and listening practice. Two and half hours you can allot to your speaking practice. Or you can okay. you know separate it into three parts. One part listening and reading. Second part you are learning two to three words, and then one grammatical pattern. You feel you are okay. week at only one grammatical pattern for a week so you can utilize that in output so for one hour if you are focusing on two to three words writing down some sentences and then you are uh, you know uh, working on that one grammatical pattern then you switch to the output then you go there on the application talk to people use that grammatical pattern 
okay as much as possible use that words then do the output so all three the amalgamation of all three will help you a lot you will be see you will be able to see an immense improvement in yourself if you follow this this is what i just wanted to share now let's talk about fam not familiar words you note down the words which you are not familiar with right tell me first what about the words which uh, which you are familiar with are you able to use those words yes all the words you are fam if you are familiar with oh sorry ma'am i didn't understand could you please while reading and while listening sometimes we get the words which we know already like if while reading i get a word that is imperative i know the word imperative is important hmm. right i know the word i am familiar with the word but i am not able to use the word so what do you do for that particular word or are you able to use every word which you know no ma'am like i am trying to use that kind of word which one is effective like hmm. i am telling to you so you can understand Hmm. If I'm using a typical word in front of you, like you know as very well, uh, you are a really very great communicator. And if you are talking with me in higher level of English, so uh, like I am stuck that time. I will not, may, I will not able to make conversation with you. So as I am doing, like I know some of uh, typical words, but I am not using if it's not required. If it is not required, that is even a. great strategy when you talk to people but still try to use because uh i understand that if i use any advanced word you will be not able to understand or maybe any other person or a beginner will not be able but at the same time the beginner is here to learn something new if i will not use he will be at the same place he will be able to recall the words only he knows okay but in the one session if he get one word and he think like okay he thinks like oh i i didn't get the meaning or what she she or after the session he will search and then he will be able to add one more word in his dictionary so like this i yeah. try to create the environment otherwise the in the with the same level he he uh, joined my session and with the same level level or with the same english he will left my session he will leave my session so what is the meaning of attending the session with me because these are the practice sessions these are the like when you come here and you learn something new at least learn one new word if you are a beginner right but in your case you are already doing the input you are learning words you are reading you are speaking so everything is perfect already and you are even good at speaking only yeah, as you mentioned grammatical errors you make sometimes one i would like to tell you that is when you use i i takes only v1 form as you shared i belongs to it should be i belong to right that you can improve by speaking or practicing a lot about yourself especially about your daily routine i wake up i go i eat i meet i talk anything that takes one uh, be one form okay second as when you use have or has or had i just said i have read only few books i have read only few books has have had takes be three you know that right that's why i'm telling you focus on the input equally so learning two to three uh, two to three new words and then one grammatical pattern for a week so you will be able to grasp it properly you will be able to imbibe it properly is there any new word for you today imbibe grasp you know <laughs> yeah great then then great okay but maybe people on youtube no, no, no. i i heard first time this word imbibe yeah maybe you are just drinking something like taking it whole heartedly properly okay actual meaning is when you drink something in vibe yeah okay yeah uh, any question that you want to ask any doubt if you have sorry ma'am any question that you want to ask uh yes ma'am like uh, i just want to know about your journey like uh, i i saw your videos you told me uh, mm -hmm. you told us like uh, you are not you was not also a very good fluent speaker from your childhood yes. so uh, tell me your journey little bit like which is little bit different whatever you said in your past video little bit different how it could be different because i have shared Five six hundred videos, and I repeated all the things I have shared. All the things already, a little bit different. Mm. Like, give me a one or two tips. 
which which will be good for me like whatever you have follow mm i think you are an intermediate so let me share with you as an intermediate as an intermediate i faced a plateau situation a plateau you know right when you are putting yeah. your 100% but you feel stuck you feel like there is no improvement there is no change so uh, at that time i guess shadowing is one one is shadowing if you come that plateau situation ever in life start following shadowing after that and writing skills even not after that uh, if you want to incorporate these these habits or these tips right now in your practice you can incorporate one is shadowing second is writing because writing i believe and i have read in many books that hello yeah yes ma'am yes. because writing is one thing i believe and i have seen or i have read in some of the books that writing is the slowest process slowest uh, process of articulating your uh, thoughts so it helps you to choose the important the imperative thought in a well structured manner it helps you and when you write you train your mind deliberately that this is the right thought and this is the right way to construct this sentence okay so that is one tip which will help you come out of or get rid of the intermediate plot okay yeah yeah one more thing i want to add you here is focus on pauses 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 very as you want to become a public speaker so pauses again makes your speaking very effective very effective you know if you know where to pause and how many uh, like uh, yeah how many seconds you need to pause sometimes you need only one second pause sometimes you need five second pause in public speaking especially you you can observe people who give speeches on stage so you will get uh, and when you get one thing in your mind like okay in this video i'm going to focus on pauses then you feel more focused and you will be able to get what you act actually want to learn from the video from the speaker okay so focus on one thing at a time that will also help you a lot yeah anything else that i can help you with uh, uh one one more thing i want to ask you like uh, how this thought came into your mind to start a youtube channel mm. it was just very very i i didn't put that much thought into it but one habit i have that is when you start something start it with whole heartedly so i really thought deliberately for a really long period of time about the name of my youtube channel that is try to thrive so that is what if you start something start with whole heartedly and follow it and i'm telling you i have been continuously i was persistent on youtube i don't miss many days in between like if i decide to upload one video every day i follow that if i decide to upload thrice a week three videos a week i follow that so be very consistent whatever you do be very authentic and at least true to yourself so i feel content because whatever i decide i do that come rain or shine i follow those things so when i started it was just because at that time i started my speaking journey actually so what i found on youtube was people were sharing their journey who were learning the language so i also thought that if i start a youtube channel i would be able to be consistent with the practice right mm. so then my mind will not uh, start will not make excuses that oh today i can skip the practice or maybe i'll do later so that's why i just started the youtube channel to share my journey at the same at the same time to be consistent and uh, from my videos people would also be able to learn something so that thought was in my mind then i started the channel yeah yes okay then now we can wind this session up right here i hope i this session really helped you or maybe if not all maybe one or two tips will help you in your journey 
and yeah thank you yes, so sir, much for coming along thank you thank so you much for approaching yeah. yeah thank you you're welcome you have a bye bye have a great day ahead you too man thank you bye bye bye